going on on the What's Going On show. I'm Somatic2008, and we're about to review the PlayStation 4 software system update 3.5. And I told you, I told you I was going to get my hairline prepared for this video, for this review, for this 3.5 update, because I don't want it to turn into a bear bind. And that's something you should always be looking out for. Is always protecting your hairline but no we're going to jump into this review we're going to go over a couple things and i'm going to show you why this update is going to be make the community even stronger and it's more of a community more uh friendly update which i like a lot um i've been hitting up bloodborne uh a lot and uncharted 3 and um my man emerald has been helping me emerald tiger of all legends has been helping me with the Bloodborne run on getting this platinum, and uh, this guy's a legend. He knows how to play games. He plays his games, and he's a higher trophy level than me. So this guy knows what he's doing on the doing packs. And um, the first thing you're gonna notice with this update is, duh, you're gonna have an indicator notifying that you're online, and that's the blue uh, mark right there. And when you click on your uh, profile you'll see another feature and it's called online status now you may ask what's the necessary what's the necessi necessity of this what's the importance of this um, I'll tell you the importance of it now um, when you click on uh, online status it will show you that you can appear offline why is that important? Say if you want to watch Batman v Superman, which hits Blu-ray uh, July 16th, I believe. And critics has been shitting on this movie, and you know, you think it's a good movie, but you have to watch it for yourself. Now you can appear offline if you don't want to be bothered with invites or any uh, uh, anything like that. You can just appear offline and watch a movie. Or if you're going on a hardcore trophy run, you can appear offline and be just be focused with without any bother uh, without any interruptions from you know invites and also I like this create an event because now you can notify people when you about to live stream uh, you know you can create a uh, create an event on your community page and we'll get it we'll get into all that later because it's done with simple simplicity I really like that if 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 somebody makes a, a you know an event, they can uh, send an invitation and I can quickly join their session and watch what you know watch their uh, event that they uh, got going on and it's going to be dope and I like that because it makes the community more tighter and it's good and also you know it has this little tutorial right here letting you know you can create an event and invite other players players. Who register for your event can automatically join a party for a game session at that set time which is really really good you can set the time for your event and when you're going to broadcast it and the other feature people been really wanting since the ps4 launch because they got so accustomed to seeing it on a ps3 is the friends notification online L seeing when your friends go online and they finally got it and it's done flawlessly i thought they executed this to perfection and we're going to get into a little bit now you got your community like I said earlier you got your community page where you can post your events of what's going on if you want to live stream pictures and all sorts of you know gaming related stuff screenshots of trophies you got you can post that and share it with your friends which is really really dope and um this 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 update just has a lot of a lot more you know togetherness about with the community which I like a lot and it's really good because it just, you know, it's really good. And also, the reason I say they executed the friends notification online flawlessly is it's not set where it's automatic and if you got too many friends and people are coming off and online, it becomes a little bit annoying of an annoyance. You can set the amount of friends that you can get notified by, which is perfect. So you can have up to 10, the 20 friends you want to get set notified by, which is I thought that's done perfectly that is flawless and as you can see I did a quick little you know check down you know I want 48 friends it's if you want to get notified by everybody on your friends list you can if you want to get notified by a set number you can that is perfect 
It doesn't, it's not like, okay, I said it and everybody that comes on, I get bombarded all at once. No, you can set it to a set number that's done flawlessly. That is perfect. The other thing I like about this now, if you want to join a community, which was hard before because you couldn't really like find a community that you were looking uh, uh, that you were looking for, it's done perfectly here. Now you can search like Facebook if you're searching for one of your friends you want to add. You just put their name in the search engine. Like you can see what I did right there. I put my name in the search engine, you know. Or if you want to look for a PlayStation Legion or a friend that has a community going on or any type of community, you know, Mark Cerny, may, uh, you might want to find this community or any of the PlayStation uh, members, you can find a community. It's just easy. You can just write it in a search engine. Whatever community you want to join, Call of Duty, uh, Killzone, Uncharted, if they got a community for that, Madden, 2K, all you got to do is just search that community that you're looking for, and boom, it will show up, like, right here. You put my name in there. If you want to join my community, you can just search it, boom, and you can join, or, you know, it's it's just done with such simplicity and ease, and that's what I like. Just write the name, boom, you find it, and that's it. I like that. Now, the creating event, this is what I really like right here. Now, if one of the members in the PlayStation Legion wants to live stream, or any PS4 or gamer for that fact wants to live stream, they can create an event. You can call it, you can just go by your name for that event and just put it in, set the time. You know, I got an event this Saturday, you know, April 9th. At 10.15, I'll do the early edition PlayStation uh, live stream, and I'll be doing MLB The Show, because I'll do sports, you know, keep my sports fans engaged. I'll probably do one different game in sports every other week. And that's how you can set it up. You can set the duration for one hour. You can, uh, game, the game thing is optional. For some reason, they didn't have MLB 16 in, uh, as in, the, in the recent part of it, so I, I don't know why they didn't have it. And you can set that up the way you want you know, number of players that can join us eight in the party, and you can send it to your community page right there. Let whoever's in your community, you can set that event, let them know on your community, and they will know because they're in your community. You can set that the way you want. Invitation go out, and they'll know automatically know, and you can post it on your um, your own community, or you if you're in another community, multiple communities, you can set it up, and you can see right there that I got it set up. This. This helps people that are small YouTubers that are capturing with the PS4. It helps them get their name out there. You know, if you have a ton of friends that, you know, that go on YouTube, they can support you with this. You can let them know that, oh, I got a new video up. Oh, I'm about to live stream. Y'all want to see it? Y'all come join me. Be a part of it. And this is good. This is just, it makes the community tighter. See, I got one set for the PlayStation Legion and one for the people that follow me on my community. So, it just makes the community tight. I like this. It brings togetherness. No drama. Just playing our games, enjoying our games, our exclusive games, and just having fun. This is a good update. It's a community-friendly update. I like it a lot. Not everybody's going to like it. Let me know in the comments section some of the features that you want, that we still want, that hopefully we'll get in further updates. So far, I think this is a good update because it brings the community tighter. And I think they did a good job with the uh, certain features that they did. So just leave me your thoughts in the comments. PlayStation.